Good evening, America. My name is Nancy. Don't call me Pelosi, Mace. I'm a congresswoman representing the great state of South Carolina. At the age of 17, I learned that dropping out of high school might not have been the best idea. So I took my first job at a fine dining establishment some of you may know as the Waffle House. Denny's was a little too highbrow. While Waffle House was an important part of my journey, it would not be my destination. I soon went from making waffles to making history. 25 years ago, this high school dropout became the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. a college campus where we don't burn American flags, we salute them. I'm a single mom and a rape survivor. To women tonight who can relate, please know you have a friend and a sister in me. And I and I will fight like hell for you. I'm the daughter of an Army Brigadier General and a school teacher. I've admired my dad's Distinguished Service Cross from Vietnam. I've endured the rigors of a Citadel education. And today, I represent a district that includes Paris Island, where we make Marines. What we're witnessing today is proof that strength preserves peace and weakness invites war. We can never project strength around the world when weakness stands in the White House. Nations like China see weakness as opportunity. China's fentanyl invades our borders. Their arms supply Putin's regime. China supports enemy states like Iran. They oppress their own people, especially their women. The world is watching America, and we must show them what we're made of. And I know a strong leader when I see one. Donald Trump stood up to China before, and he will do it again. Anyone who thinks they can take on Donald Trump or take down America is now on notice. Justice Trump quickly rose to his feet with a defiant fist in the air in Butler Township, Pennsylvania. When we reelect him as president in November, America will soon be back on hers. We will be courageous, we will be resilient, we will be united, and we will be prepared to take on the challenges of this historic moment. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America, and God bless Donald J. Trump. Thank you.